Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm in Walls, Mississippi. We have a website, durhamsbeefarm.com, and uh, I'm the old man. Uh, somebody's got to be the old man. It's my turn. So I'm just thankful I'm here. Now, uh, I, I, I didn't plan what I'm going to show you today. So, well, I usually don't. I just start showing. And... Uh, uh, one viewer asked me, how do you light a smoker? So that's what we're going to do first. And you, you beekeepers that you're past this, just be patient. and It won't take long and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get along. This is pine needles. It's a real good fuel, but like everything, there's some exceptions. Now I'm going to light the bottom of, of this pine needles. I'm going to hold it close to the smoker. I'm going to light it now. It's going to catch on fire pretty quick. And it's kind of like kerosene. So I'm going to just kind of push it down in there as it starts igniting, okay? I wear gloves to keep soot and propolis off my fingers. Keep pumping that. If you don't pump it, it will go out. I've done it many times in my life. I just about waited too late right there. All right. I mean, to, now there, it's catching up. Okay. Now I'm going to put some more in there. But you have to keep pumping it or it will go out. So I'm going to put more fuel in, more pine needles in there. I'm going to keep pumping it and get it hot. Now, one thing let me mention to all of you. Uh, when you finish and, and you're, you're finished your bees and you got this top on your smoker, do not forget and leave that top on your smoker. If you do, that soot will will get hard. It will weld. It will like weld it on there. You, I mean, you get a you have to get a heat torch to get this off of there. So remember to take this top off while your smoker is hot. And that's that's that tip. That tip is good for. Okay, I have already smoked my hive properly. I'm gonna give a little more smoke. And uh, now let me show you something. Uh, this is a, high, a, a frame grabber. That's what I call it. I'm going to take the top off. I'm going to lay it down over here on the side, on the ground. And, whoo! Boy, when they, when they sting you where the sun doesn't shine, it smarts. Okay, we're going to take the inner cover off. And I'm going to place it right there. Now, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of bees up here, but uh, I mean they are coming and going out of the entrance. Now, let me mention something here that that if you acquired a hive from somebody and they haven't been gone into in a while, I'm gonna move the camera a little a little closer, and they haven't been gone into in a while, or you haven't gone into your I mean, the bees are coming and going in the entrance, man. And you haven't gone into your hive in a long time. These frames are going to be glued together. They're going to have, they're going to have uh, 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 burk home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the end of this hive tool, and I'm going to push them all toward that direction. All right. Did you see what I did? Now I pushed in that direction. That gave me some room here to get this one out. Get this one out. Okay. This hive has has taken an unusually amount of sugar syrup. I thought they would, but my gosh, I bet I fed them seven gallons. It's been so warm. All right. I pushed all my frames that direction. Now I'm getting ready to take this frame out. If it's if it's uh, glued in and burk home has got it attached get you a long knife and go down the wall of this of this hive here just go back and forth and, and, and cut that burk home away from the, ed, the wall of the hive go all the way down to the bottom then you might even have to go down between these two frames and do the same thing now, if it's still hard to get out, and it can be, 
if you haven't been in it in a long time. You need a, a frame gripper. That that's there's different styles and it, it doesn't matter, but it 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 grips the frame. So you can with your left hand you can grip that frame there and then you can start prying it loose from one side then the other. Finally you'll get it loose where you can pull it out. Now I'm just illustrating this because this is foundation. This is no problem. But some of you are going to have problems getting the frames out. Now, alright, I'm going to move this frame over so I can see the next one. Alright. I put this super, this brood chamber foundation on here, what, a uh, month and a half ago? Okay, they haven't drawn anything out on that one. But I mean, tell you, these bees, are, I, I'm surprised that these cones aren't drawn out more up here. They're just starting to draw that one out a tiny bit. Not much. Uh, now that one's kind of, okay. Uh, they, I'm just surprised that they haven't moved up into this second brood chamber and drawing the comb out. Alright, now, do you see this burr comb down here on the bottom of this frame? C clean that up. Every time you go in there, clean that up. Uh, basically, I'm, I, I'm just surprised. They, they have not moved up into this brood chamber of foundation. I bet I bet I've fed them seven gallons of sugar syrup. That is you're gonna find things that's gonna shock you. Now alright real quick let me show you let me show this to you again. Now since these are frames of foundation Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snug them that way. Snug them against each other. Now I'm going to reach over here on this far side. And I'm going to push them all back. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to center them. Okay? Where the space is equally divided here and over here. Now, when they draw out, there's 10 frames in here. When they draw out about 8 out of 10 frames, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the outside frame here and I'm going to take it out, move this frame outward, and then, in other words, I'm going to move this frame, the foundation, inward one. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, when at that time, I'm going to take this nine frame spacer and I'm going to use it. This is easy. You can make this. You just you just lay that a piece of one by, get you a pencil, and mark the center of the frames. Those are the wood dowels. You can make it easy. But after they have drawn out 80% of those combs, then I want to space. Let me show you. I'm gonna space these equally. Okay? Now all the extra space is divided among every frame, not just the outside frame. If, if, if for years, for years they, they taught beekeepers to push them together and leave the space out here and out here. If you do, uh, you will regret it. They will start attaching burr comb out here. They will ruin, ruin these outside frames. So that's it today, and, and I'm shocked. I'm going to tell you something in a minute here. All right, let me tell you something happened about 30 years ago, something like that. My oldest son, Tim Durham Jr., he was on the Greenville, Mississippi Police Department. Oh, he was good. Anyway, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, rascals and there's scallywags and... Uh, and then, uh, you know, there's lawyers, you know what I mean? So, 
anyhow, my son was up on the uh, in the witness box, and uh, I was out there watching. And uh, that lawyer told my son said uh, said uh, uh, the crime happened, and then later through that apartment complex, you caught this young man. Yes, sir. My son said. Well, how do you know? How do you know that was him? Well, that son's in my eyes. We, we, we reason I'm squinting. And uh, the lawyer said, "Well, how do you know that was him?" Well, one of my fellow officers described him. He said, "Well, do you do you trust your fellow officers?" Oh, yes, sir. I trust them with my life. I trust them with my wife. I trust them. And the lawyer said, well, said, tell me something. Since you trust these fellow officers so much, said, uh, uh, do you have a locker where you change into your uniform? Oh, yes, sir. Do you have a lock on that locker? Oh, yes, sir. Well, tell me. If you trust them, law, if you trust them, uh, your fellow officers so much, why do you have a lock on that locker? He said, well, he said, uh, our locker room is adjacent to the courthouse, and sometimes, <laughs> he said, sometimes lawyers walk through there. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah you gotta love it. I mean, they and the, the, I mean everybody just roared. Oh, you gotta love it. Well, look here. Let me tell you something else. Now this really, this really happened. I was in a local uh, uh, auto parts store. Let me tell you, I'm 74 years old. For 30, 40 years, I've been wanting to ask one of them young men how they keep those britches up. You know, the, the, the britches be down below the you-know-what. Well, there was a young man in there, and he, he looked like a nice young man. Now, I'm not going to mention I'm not gonna mention nationality because if I do, they'll say I'm prejudiced. And, you know, there's not a prejudiced bone in my body. And uh, so, anyhow, this, this young man, he, he looked uh, uh, sociable. So I told him, I said, I've, I've been wanting to ask uh, one of you brothers a long time. I said, how do you keep those britches up? He said, oh, said, you, you learn to waddle. Do you all know what waddle is? You know, like a duck waddles. He said, you have to learn how to waddle. I said, really? And I didn't no more get really out of my mouth. And he said, but if the cops get you, gets after you, you have to pull them up real quick. <laughs> I made my day. All right, if y'all have any beekeeping questions, let me know, and, and, and I'll try to answer them. Y'all have a good day. <laughs> hey, go down there and, and click on subscribe, and 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 uh, they'll send you an email when, when I pull another one of these. Bye.